Max will keep things mainly quiet. Some weather models have some rain scooting in after three o'clock, part of a dying complex that comes in from the west. Now, this model here doesn't have anything, so there could still be a sh few showers, even a rumble of thunder out there early tomorrow morning, so we can't rule that out. It's once we get Later into the day, we get some of that sunshine and that will allow for a few of those isolated storms to start flaring up during the middle and latter half of the afternoon. But it's really once we get into the evening hours, the storms become a little bit more organized in clusters here and these storms as they continue towards the east could produce those wind gusts up to 50, even 60 miles per hour, maybe some small hail in there, possibly a few showers on the overnight, and then we'll track some isolated activity during the day on Thursday. Certainly not looking like an all day washout, and we will get some sunshine in there as well. So here is the risk. Much of the area under that slight risk, you can see part of the area under a marginal risk. Regardless, we are looking at that potential for a few of those stronger storms later in the day with wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. That being the main threat, but small hail cannot be totally ruled out. Let's peek at the weekend. Of course, we've got Memorial Day on Monday. We've got our eyes on Sunday. A more potent storm system will be passing by to our north. That could allow for a few strong to severe thunderstorms out there. So that may have an impact on some of those outdoor plans, but we will keep that forecast a little unsettled right into Memorial Day Monday. So keep checking back with us here. We are expecting a few of those late night showers, maybe a storm if those showers and storms can hold together as they come in from the west. And as we look ahead to your Wednesday, during the afternoon towards the end of the day into the evening. That's when we'll be tracking some of those storms highs into the middle 80s. You'll notice that it is a pretty active weather pattern with at least a few storms around each day heading into the weekend. Could have a few of the stronger storms on Sunday and then looking ahead to next week. We're keeping things unsettled and maybe temperatures back down to the 70s by next Tuesday.